Hey out there, slot car land. Well, it's that time again. Time for another bi-weekly featured car. I, I look through them and I'm surprised I have not done this car yet, to tell you the truth, because this is my all-time favorite Z car in the slot car world. There's no other body that looks as cool as a Z car than this one. So let's get set up and we'll take a look at this week's bi-weekly featured car. So this week's bi-weekly featured car is my Amrec 240Z. Probably one of the, this has got to be the coolest Z car in, in the HO slot car world. I mean, this thing is just the flared fenders. The way Amrec did this car is amazing. It is so cool. It's so cool that I actually have three of these. I have the one that I bought for the for the review. I have another one that I bought um, in the package still. Just like the one that we did the review of. And then I have this one, which this is one that I picked up from Reggie in Portland. that I Because I wanted it for my uh, M chassis car. So this is currently on an Amrec. Or not an Amrec, but a Rocor M chassis. So very cool. Love this car. Probably my two favorite Amrec cars um, in the Amrec line would be this car and then the Porsche. It's probably my two favorite Amrec bodies. And this turntable was working fine until we started the video. Now it's wanting to spaz out. Stupid thing. So let's uh, let's take a peek on the old eBay. We know it's going to be expensive, but let's take a peek anyways. See if any... Uh, and, oops, any of these are listed on eBay. I'm not sure um, what the other but the other uh, if there's any other body style are there any other color variations of this I think I know of one other one but I'm not awfully sure as to how many others there is of that car. Let's see if we get a hit here on eBay. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there's several. We got some. Oh, okay, so there's... Okay, so the yellow one I didn't know about. Now, this is the one you guys can see here. This is the one I knew about. This one right here. This one right here is the one I knew about. Looks like there's only three different variations because there's this yellow one right here then that one the one that we're looking at right now and then that uh, red yellow and blue now there is several there's literally looks like there's only four listed on ebay right at the moment two of those two of the number seven car and one of the 88 car the 88 car has 20 has seven bids and it's at 2250 Um, there's a body only that there's fourteen seventy five. Oh, but it's mangled. Never mind. It has no window, and the back, the back post back here is all mangled. So forget about that one. Then there's the two seven cars. One has one bid for twenty bucks. The other one has zero bids. It's sitting at seventy. Then there's a buy it now for one hundred and eighty five, which is which is ridiculous. Give me the bottom. Now it's an original chassis. No name on the bottom of it, so you can't tell. Then there's another body only that they want a hundred bucks for. These give some of these people are just freaking dead in the head. I swear to goodness gracious. And then there's another one that's missing the decals for the on the doors. They want buy it now, they want forty eight. 98 for this car and it is original amrec chassis car um let's take a peek oh shit 
Dang it. Dang it. I can type. Really, I can. Let's take a peek at... Take a peek at this 88 car, see what's under it. It looks like it could be an Amrec chassis. Yep, it is. Uh, the Amrec with no name on the bottom of it, by the looks of it. Then that's the one that they want 22 for 29. This looks like the 7. This 7 looks like it's on an M chassis. Yep, which it is. Okay. Can't tell. It's on a lifelike M chassis. And then the one that they want 70 bucks for. Is also on a lifelike M chassis. So that's all that's what we got on eBay right now. So it's slim pickings on eBay right at the moment, but that's typical. There's there's a lot of people trying to make money on eBay and they're doing it the wrong way. But I love this car. If you can get a hold of one of these, if you know somebody that's got one or you find one at a, at a slot car show and it's a reasonable price, go after it because it's it's the only way you're gonna be able to uh Get this car at a reasonable price. So that's this week's bi-weekly featured car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, hope you're working on your cars, getting them ready for the coming up fall season. And uh, doing all kinds of cool stuff with your cars. Maybe you're getting some new ones up and running. Or maybe you're trying to tinker with some old stuff. And, and just have fun with the hobby. Because that's what this is all about. Is fun with the hobby. Uh, don't forget to check out all the shorts. The, the Monday walk-arounds. The... the uh, the Tuesday tech tips, the Wednesdays, um, uh, geez, I'm drawing a blank here. The Wednesdays, uh, parts bins, the wreck of the week on Thursdays, and the Saturday speed shots. Don't forget to check all of those out. They're all doing great on the channel. It's amazing what the views we're getting. We're picking up new subscribers out of nowhere too, which is really cool. Getting these, trying to get people interested in the hobby. Hopefully, getting some young kids interested. And uh, all that good kind of stuff. So next week we're going to be back on that accelerator set. We're going to be talking about how to get the track back into working order. Um, sanding the rails, making sure all the connections are good and all that good kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you haven't missed the first two videos of that series, go check them out where we talk about what to look for when you buy a set. And getting the um, cars up and running. I'm still working on that other one. I'm going to work on it here a little bit. See if we can't get it to work. Because it's still still being a little finicky. It's still not wanting to run. So i gotta, I got to own the arm and see if the arm's okay. It might still just be motor brushes. Uh, i got to see if maybe... i got to check and see if a magnet traction motor brush will fit in there. Um, if not, i got to work with the springs a little more. I think it might need a little more spring tension. So be on the lookout for that as well next week. And then uh, the week after that, we'll be back with another bi-weekly feature car. And then hopefully after that, we should be far enough along in that series with the accelerator set that we could do the review. So be on the lookout for that as well. So have a great week. I'm out. Keep that pin in the slot. The wheel's on the downside. Keep racing the slot cars. Don't forget to go check out slotcarcrazy.com. A lot of great websites, a lot of great links. 
Um, a lot of great um, YouTube pages, a lot of great uh, groups on Facebook, a lot of great, a lot of great uh, places to go buy parts and pieces for. So don't forget to check that out, and don't forget to go to the merch shop. Trying to get the merch shop off the ground here. We're trying. It's been up for two years. We're try, I'm trying to get it going and trying to get some revenue out of it. We're not selling a whole heck of a lot, and I don't know why, but I'm trying to trying to do that because that'll help this channel out as well. So go visit the site. You don't really have to buy anything, but if you see something that catches your fancy, please pick it up and help out the channel. And we'll catch you guys uh, next weekend. I'm out. Bye.